G'day mate, Servok here, and welcome to my backyard, Black Desert Online. It's a new game I'm bringing to my channel, and I've been looking forward to this ever since I mucked around it on it on the Korean servers. So, because I'm an Aussie, I am using Battle Ping. Uh, Battle Ping just helps us a little bit better. Uh, hopefully, we don't see as much latency towards the American servers. But, Pretty much, sorry, Eden is the unofficial uh, server for the Aussies, so I am planning to make a, a tamer. I get a creation, there is no, it's just classes, there is no race or anything like that in this game. Okay, so, <laughs> character name, I do have it saved. I did pre-order, but the problem is, is that it took me forever to actually download, so. Horoscopes, let's get Black Dragon. Black Dragon sounds cool. Weather. <laughs> Blue screen. That looks pretty cool. Alright, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> what the... Okay, there's... Wow, okay. Alright, let's, let's go back to that. Clothes. Aha, the different outfits. No. Well, let's go that one. That looks pretty cool. Alright, hair shape. Oh, well. It's definitely one of those Asian MMOs because they love this stuff. They love being able to customize their characters to the nth degree. Hmm. Like that. Oh, wow. Okay. You get... Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, that's crazy good. Um, hmm. So that's the real dark colors. Hmm. I think I like. I'm liking that. Let's go with that. Hair ends. Uh, uh, uh. Can we can we twist your head so we can? No. Oh, hello. <laughs> Looks like a. <laughs> uh, looks like I had bleed there, and the colour's running out. Yeah, that's good. That I don't mind that. All right. Uh, body, face, voice. So we go all the way there. Ooh. Oh, look, there's, there's the arms. That's the arms. That must be legs. Oh, who's that? Hmm. <laughs> you can't be serious. They thought these are cool tattoo designs. <laughs> no. Um, edit pose. Mm, no, I'm happy with that. Face is done, voice is done, hair shape is done, character action is done, weather and horoscope are done. Alright. Alright, I think we're good to go. So, we go creation complete. <laughs> uh, 
uh, connect. Figure default to configure the screen vibrate. Let's go recommended. Recommended. Choose your preferred navigation type. Hmm, let's go effect, because that looks pretty cool. Now game graphic environment setting. Let's go high just so we can see it. That's what we really want to see. We want to see how pretty this game is too, don't we? I think... Yeah, I, I, I think this will be a very pretty game. Uh, it's going to be fairly full on too. So it's apparently not as lag dependent as, say, Blade and Soul. So we sh I shouldn't really notice the suffering from that. So let's see how we go. Do you want to activate? Yes. Intro. Naru is the central city of trading. Back when ships from Valencia would anchor in Naru, children would greet the merchants and fireworks would light the skies. Naru was a thriving city of sailors and merchants, and crowded areas were guarded by mercenaries. Little did they know what had arrived. Could any of these people know of the Elysian Stone? It is the mythical stone of the ancient civilization, but the dark power it possesses has been hidden by that very civilization. At last, the Elysian was uncovered. A mysterious black smoke rose up over the ridge. It seemed to know exactly where it was headed. To Goma Naru. Bam! The Elysian Stone reverberated. People started to disappear all across Goma Naru. In the end, there was no one left, and that day was soon forgotten. That black spirit they talk about. Has just possessed me. Now, yeah, I'm dead. Head up your. Ha! Huh. It's a very handy little. Then click the red button on the received quest info menu to activate navigation for that quest's destination. 
So T lets us follow. Where are they going to send us? Uh, I recommend to drink first. Plus. 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 Okay, that's in progress, so we have to leave. Just on. And. and it, oh, it's R to interact on this game. Got to complete. Okay, what a mysterious looking cat. Jeez, Olivia. Alright, so now if we hit. T Press the again. control key to turn the mouse on or off. I do. Then click the red button on the receipt. <laughs> this press this auto follow the quest line is destination. Just for, well, well, I guess while in town. The destination will be highlighted by a huge pillar of so, light that you should be able to see from a distance. I do, I do like this concept. <laughs> also, if you it click seems the yellow that, button, hmm? you'll auto you run, run to into the destination. People, which is pretty cool too. Yeah. So. You can alternate between auto run and self navigation oh, to move so to the chief. destination at your leisure. Let's talk to you. I got this necklace in Medea when I was young. Cutscene. Maybe this necklace is the cause of my granddaughter's nightmares. If you really need it, I'd be happy to give it to you. That would be a great help. I'm too old to care about this kind of thing anymore, you know. <clears throat> Here you are. Oh, thank you so mm. much. We'll do everything possible to find the source of your granddaughter's nightmares. Please, seek out Princess Durette and her investigation team at the Ancient Stone Chamber. <clears throat> Looking straight at us. You're a new face. Are you from abroad? Oh. Durette, the Princess of Hyrule, just visited. She's pretty annoying, actually. <laughs> mm -hmm. Velier is a better place to learn about production than here. Uh, so, and meet explorer Eden. So, if I hit T again. That's a control, that's me. Yep, alright, so we're working things out at a time. Really an expert? You don't look like one to me. I've investigated ruins across the continent. Ancient artifacts are my forte. Everybody says they're an expert. Could you have done all that by yourself? <laughs> not by myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm with an ancient language what? expert yes, and some quality on. excavators. Ah. Uh, hmm. Um. You stand before Princess Jurette. You must mind your. <laughs> Please understand that it's hard to trust you given the magnitude of the task before us. Return where you came from. Hmm. All right then. This gemstone was recovered from the Valencia ruins. It was verified to be authentic by the Imperial Court. It couldn't be. A gem of balance? They say it concealed the dark power, oh, but I never thought I'd see one in my life. Could this be what Sir Jordan is looking for? Fine. You are in charge of the Stone Chamber investigation. Yes. A fortnight. That's how long you'll have for the investigation. Good. You'll see me sooner than that. We're on. Destiny must have led you here. Never stop seeking light, even in we're the deepest darkness. Colour three energy bound when I do that. And uh, cost region experience ten. Down. Experience will gradually reveal so, the way. What are we going to get? Experience and combat skill points. Sounds good. Remember, friend, I'm oh. Eden. Destiny oh. must have led you here. Black spirits out there. Oh. Press the bat button. Oh. Turn the mouse on or off. Oh, I'm gonna 
that turn off. Yeah, tip, tips for me get a little bit annoying after a while. I like turning them on when I sort of can't find or find the... I guess I can't find the button I'm looking for. <laughs> it, it's Andy then. I know they're good all the time, but... Uh, she's looking at me. <laughs> oh, just ran into it. Did he get promoted to commander like Bottles? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't this just an excuse to drink more? <laughs> I like I like this guy. Leave Olvia to the vigilantes. Oh, what? We have level up. We should be the ones to defend our own land. Neat. All of us vigilantes look up to Croxus. Someone says that they're chopping down a tree near my head. Leave all right, to the vigilantes. So Learning skills. So we got sword and kick. Right level higher than 14. Alright, so we've got that. Kick sword and kick. Higher than 7. Higher than 7. Leaf. Slash. Higher than 13. Uh, summon Halang, auto learn. Call upon Halang to fight a sight you higher than 20. Alright, so we're gonna summon at 20. Aha, here we go. Halang Whiplash, that's what we're after. So what are we Halang? We'll use its skills aggressively. Do -do 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 while mounted. Okay, but normally this is just right click. Alright. We all have a strong attachment to this town. Oh, um... Hmm. Okay. Complete. We should yeah. be the ones to defend uh, our own speak, land. Uh, might be different. Might be real, so. All of us vigilantes look up to Croxus. Okay. Scarecrow. to the vigilantes. Have a strong so, attachment to this oh, town. No, I've got zero score points. First, back to the train. Probably it might be different for that town, but it's a good lesson for you. Okay, so this is where. Uh, step one. Oh, I should read instructions. Tab key or left switch between non combat sets. Alright, left click. Press and right click to attack. Right to form secondary attack. Oh, if I actually read the press at the top, I'd be fine. Press was not broken. We should be the ones to defend our own land. Alright, oh, so I've got no skill point. What's the other skill I want to learn? 
There's only one more skill I can learn at this level, I'm guessing. Otherwise, we gain a skill point and we're not getting anywhere. At the moment, we look what we're getting anyway. We might have to hold on to it. There is no skill that can be like that. Uh, makes it easier if I actually read that box. Alright. Black Spirit, Black Spirit. I know Black Spirit. Alright, so... Apparently, this is where you can ignore the story quest now. You can oh. quest targets. So apparently you can now just grind to the next place and then keep on doing the quests in the next place and all that sort of stuff. So I'm sort of curious on whether or not I will do that. Or I may just go through the quests and sort of... I guess just do the quests and kill some stuff because I think it'd be the better way of leveling. I don't know. Like it's one of those ones where I think grinding in a group would be perfect, and I think that's how this game is sort of okay. I I really don't jump. But, okay, so when you're close to things, you can grab the edge. That's pretty cool. All right. So, is that me or is that a graphics glitch or is that guy just, no that's a graphics glitch. Oh well. Alright, so, I think what I'm going to do guys is, I'm going to test one thing. So guys, that's going to be it for this episode and I think going to be playing a lot more of this soon and I will be recording my whole way through and I'll be teaming up with my cousin uh, he's been smashing out the actual early access and yeah sort of jealous really so guys if you enjoy it or want to see more of it hit the like button and subscribe for more also guys share with your mates and as always I'll see you later. Oh, there's no way. Where's the wavy mode?